social media pisses me off. But I'm not going to get off of it. Because that's what I do. I just love to just be pissed off. Me too. Fired up all the time. But thank God we can keep up with your home renovation. Oh, it's fantastic. You Don't you feel like you're watching an episode on HGTV? Diminutive white multimillionaire. I'm telling you what. Yep. <laughs> I finally blocked her on Instagram. Did you I block was, her? Yeah, I felt like I had envy and jealousy, and I, God didn't want that in my yeah, life. There was so a I lot of covetousness. <laughs> She's a lot out. of covetousness. Wow. You know what? Can't you be I'm kind of wishing someone. God would flood your house again. That is so, <laughs> you guys are so mean. Lightning strike. I mean, if it can hit a George Floyd mural, why not you? Right. <gasps> wow. You know? Is this what I come back to? You're as white as it gets. And I'm God's proud of punishing it. the whites. That's right. God's punishing the whites. Really? For, for, yes, oh, absolutely. It, well, are we in the end times? Are we living no, them? No, hell no. What? There's going to be a thousand years of punishment. Speaking of, you know, Punishing the whites and all that kind of stuff. I mean, look at the shirt she's wearing, the gold chain she's wearing. She was wearing some shades. What I think you... she's appropriating culture. Uh, that's right. I think yes, so. I am. Boss I'm babe, what kind of ebonics I'm... is that? <laughs> ebonics. <laughs> uh, this is called Kendra Scott ebonics, everybody. Okay, oh, right here. That expensive? Mm-hmm. It's yeah, Kendra you know Scott. me, bougie. It was on sale. Super Please. bougie. You just, used, you just stole someone's language, this too. It's on sale. <laughs> I'm a yeah. savage. Insanity. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. <laughs> Sassy, moody, whatever. I'm fat. Know. I'm thick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a savage. Look at my cankles. <laughs> Look at my big fat cankles, cat. Hey, you know, somebody said that, that George Floyd mural, of course, got struck and it blew all the bricks out, right? Yeah. Just struck him right in the face. <laughs> and somebody said, now, how are we going to make this racist? And I said, it was white lightning. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They should oh, blame Chad. the guy that put lightning rods up the night before. <laughs> People are like, you know you're on the campaign trail. Yeah, right, People exactly. are going to use this against you. I was like, God, I hope they do. Because <laughs> that joke is gold right there. <laughs> Ooh, it's party time, Mom. Welcome to another episode of the Chad Brady Show. We're in the Mothership Studio 22. We're flying into the nether regions of all things stupidity. And the puppet master, Mark, the perfectionist, is at the helm driving us. Look at Candace. We still can't get rid of her. She's oh, back over there in the back. Gosh. Look at her. She's back there by Herbert the Silent Deer looking all reek and sleagle. She's so yeah. afraid to let us go because she knows the second she walks out the door, this show is going to hell in a handbasket without this her. This is it. <laughs> uh, oh, Chris Cruz. I'm not going to give him a nickname until Candace is gone. I mean, not, that's the be a respectful thing to do. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to give. I, I, we, he could be the queen of something, though. No, no, he he could be King Chris Cruz. We and mm. we just King changed Cruz. the last Cruz, King Cruz to a K, and it'd be triple K. Oh, wow. How about that, yeah, KKK. <laughs> Boy, we came a long way from a George Floyd mural. Yes, we didn't did. we? All right, Dr. Cordy Williams, uh, his <laughs> reputation's going down the drain right there, sitting at the pub, right there to the uh, to the right side of Party Pal Steve. I, I've never seen anybody so eager to come sit at the pug than the, the pub, yeah. other than these two. They're I don't like, know. Jennings uh, is Jennings is probably uh, underneath the pub right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jennings, get Can't down. Get rid of that guy. <laughs> and of course, the one, the only Jeffy Fisher, host of Chewing the Fat podcast. Right here on Blaze TV. Uh, Honored to be here, Mr. Prather. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. It's been forever. I love it when Jeffy comes around. I never see Jeffy. Usually he's giving me the middle finger. Usually off in the distance. I can... <laughs> it's like, like sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night in my bedroom or in a hotel, and in the pitch black dark, I look around, and I'm like, I'm, I'm looking, thinking Jeffy's going to be there. Thinking Jeffy. Jeffy's just going to be standing over me. How's everything? How you been? Oh, fantastic. Wonderful. Thank you. I mean, I'm not as... You know, a rich white chick. So, <laughs> yeah, well, struggling. you guys. Yeah, you still get no unemployment comment. too? <laughs> no, it ended last week, actually. Wow. Did it? Yeah. You hadn't felt a thing, have you? I mean, I, you just can't buy as much nail polish? No, I, I don't do my own nails. Oh. Sorry. Well, I don't know I how you buy, have time have to, to do Kendra. anything. <laughs> I don't know how you got your nails change every day. So, I don't know. How, okay. Like, I mean, wow. I'm going to get so much at hate. Least, at least Sarah Gonzalez is. Uh, Latinx enough that she lets hers grow out a little bit. You can kind of see where her real nails is and the fake oh, no, ones start. No, we can't see any of the realness here. None. Yeah. No. no. Uh, got my fake tan going today, too. My hair is bleached. What else do you guys want to know? Did you go to the gym this morning? I went to the gym at 6.15. Yes. Oh, that's incredible. You know what I did at 6.15? Hit the snooze button. <laughs> Most people do. Actually, actually, I woke up at 6.15 and set my alarm for 10. <laughs> 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 that's what I did. Snooze uh, eight times. I know. Anyway... It's fun. We've got a big crowd in here. We've got a lot of things we're going to get into. We've got some videos we're going to show you that's going to blow your mind. Uh, I was watching a video of a um, um, Border Patrol Patriot on Facebook. He was live uh, down in Valverde County where I was last week. They uh, 
already had 200 folks that had come to the border like 10 o'clock in the morning. That's it, though. 200 just, <laughs> just in that 200. It, together all at once right there. And they had two Border Patrol agents or two DPS agents that were there. And then, of course, everybody converged on the scene in that deal. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Headed yeah. back down to the border today. Are you fact. really? Yeah. Huh. Heading back down. I'm going to go make sure they're doing it right. They wanted me to get on the boat out there, and they were like, you're going to be armed, and you're going to be body armor. And I'm like, we should we take body armor anyway when we go down there. But I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to risk everybody's life, including my own. Yeah, no. We'll they, stay, on, we'll stay they, on the bank. You've made several trips to the border now. Um, have you got your boots dirty yet? Because that's a big thing on online. Everybody's saying, you need to get your boots dirty. You want to see the blood on my boots? Yeah. Uh, At the border, street cred. Street cred. We'll talk about that when we come back. But first, how will you know you're ready to do something about your receding hairline and ball spot? Uh, When they're the first things you see in the mirror, you better be ready. Okay, it's that time. Now what? That's easy. Keeps. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any other of its competitors and hundreds of thousands of guys trust Keeps for their hair loss prevention. Keeps offers doctor-recommended, FDA-approved hair treatment, And because they're generic versions, you pay about half the cost. Best of all, you do everything online. Answer a few easy questions, snap a couple of pics of your hair, and a licensed doctor will review your info and recommend the right hair loss treatment for you. Then it's shipped to your door discreetly, which it's not like your neighbors don't know you're bald. Uh, And uh, they'll answer your questions along the way. You can message your Keeps doctor 24-7, track your progress with Keeps Progress Tracking Tool. Uh, get you started. I'm going to send you to keeps.com slash loss. They're going to give you 50% off your first order of hair loss treatments. That's keeps.com slash loss. Keeps.com slash loss. We'll be right back. It's Tuesday, which is the most underrated day of the week. Uh, you like sex? Sure, it's good. <laughs> why? Do, I mean, why? why? I mean, who doesn't like sex? Why? Who I doesn't talk about this stuff when I'm on? That. I think she was caught off guard. <laughs> like, it depends. I mean, I, mean I, I think I do, historically. <laughs> Let me tell you, Olympians love sex. Like, apparently this has been a problem over the years. Not a problem, but it's just kind of an open secret that these Olympians get together from all over the world, and they like to, uh, they like to participate in. in uh, oh yeah, coitus. <laughs> there's, I mean, there's a lot of business going on. A lot with the going on in those Olympic it has villages been for years. <laughs> like, listen, not only are you there for the medals, yeah. you're there oh, for the rewards. It has been for years, and in fact, they, I mean, they've already they pre-ordered condoms for years <laughs> yeah. ahead of time. They do. Scheduled. They get yeah. boxes of them. Yes, they got them. Absolutely. They come in your country's colors. The condoms look like gold medals. <laughs> They're like gold oh, yeah. condom medals. Yeah. Oh yeah. And they, and you use them a whole bunch, and it, they look like you know the, the the floor of a garage where the oil slick is and the rain hits it. You know, just all these colors. In, in it's like a rainbow, which I don't know. I'm sure there's some of that rainbow loving going on in the Olympics too. I Absolutely. don't know. I mean, there's pole vaulters in the, in the women's division with balls. Uh, I don't. Like, I don't know how how any of this works anymore. Okay. But they were gonna they were gonna fix that. So here's what they did. They said. Uh, They were going to build beds out of cardboard for the Olympic Village. That way you could sleep on it. There's one of those cardboard beds. You could sleep on it, but you couldn't you couldn't hanky the panky on it. Right. Right? Because it would fall down. So pound it right to the floor. Like like (laughs) I put a hole in these boxes. The uh, I would say, you know, and I don't know what happens when cardboard gets wet, but I gotta assume it's going it's going to lose some of its uh strength and foundation yes. and who's to say like if i wanted to get jiggy with it uh, that i wouldn't just take that tokyo blanket right off and slap it in the corner and, and let's just get get after it you know what i'm saying yeah, let's just chase each other around the room tonight but irish gymnast reese mclenic Mc, Mc, i can't say his name mclenahan took to twitter to debunk the touted theory that the 100 percent recyclable coward butter boxes uh the beds were designed by japanese company Airweave, can withstand sexual activities between athletes uh, he said, in today's episode of Fake News, just watch it right here. In today's episode of Fake News at the Olympic Games, the beds are meant to be anti-sex. They're made out of cardboard, yes, but apparently they're meant to break at any sudden <laughs> movements. <laughs> it's fake. Fake news. <laughs> fake fake news. news. It's funny you use the term debunk. Yeah. Because he was on a bunk. <laughs> fake news. No, we got it. 
No, Paul uh, Kalimo, right Chalimo, I don't say it. No, he, uh, he's an American distance runner. He said, beds to be installed in Tokyo Olympic Village will be made of cardboard. This is aimed at avoiding intimacy among athletes. Uh, he tweeted this. Beds will be able to withstand the weight of a single person to avoid situations beyond sports. Why do they care? Who cares? They're well, they're, adults. This, year, this year they care because of COVID. Oh, right? COVID. I mean, yeah. Japan is, uh, they're already protesting the Olympics. I yeah. believe they still is time to have it canceled. Yeah. What about creativity? It it's Friday. What about what? Well, well I was just going to say that, that like, like they're only going to do it in the bed. Like the cardboard yeah, that's what I'm beds. Saying, gonna, yeah. You know, it's like. Right. And they've also said that uh, the condoms that they have already allocated per country is supposed to go with them back home. They're not supposed to be used here. They're uh, supposed to go back home to promote uh, anti-HIV and promote safe sex, but they're not supposed to be used in Japan. Okay. So yeah. I mean, they're already they're already all for the <laughs> like, health purposes. Here's a box of pop tarts. But don't eat it till you get home. Right? Yeah, it's like telling right. a kid you can't have the candy. Seriously. Yeah. Exactly. I know. Don't you touch that button. <laughs> Too late. The button's been touched. Um. I, anyway, you're right. They could still cancel this thing. Yeah, it's close. They've spent it, it, twenty four billion dollars on this Olympics. It's really close. And NBC, you know, NBC has fought to keep it alive. I mean, they've got you know. St- Thousands of hours of programming already scheduled on all their platforms. Um, the IOC is, you know, they've been on their knees, literally well, on their knees, begging Japan to have it. And the people of Japan are already saying that that should be canceled. It was already postponed once. It's supposed to start on Friday. Yeah, I think that if a, if they've already got some people already testing positive, they've had a worker, oh for sure, uh, you know, an assistant at the uh, Olympic grounds test positive. Some athletes have tested positive. When a country comes, one country is going to come and they're all going to test positive, they're yep. going to shut it down. They'll shut it down. The Olympic I mean, that's, size. That's, yes. that's more of a super spreader event than House Democrats in Texas going to D.C. Yeah. I'm telling you what. <laughs> Bunch of maskless fools got on a plane, <laughs> yep. showed their racist ID to get on the plane. Mm-hmm. And now, now, now that's, that's 10% of Texas House Democrats. 10%. That is a super spreader event. Sure There's is. never been more than 7% at any super spreader event when one person was significantly ill. So yeah. now five out of 51 House Democrats have tested positive for COVID, all fully vaccinated, I will add. That is a super spreader event. But nobody was significantly ill. So right, we don't have really... no symptoms, right? I yeah. mean, that, that's, the, that's the argument for mm-hmm. being vaccinated, right. is that if you get the different variants, the symptoms aren't going to be as severe. That's exactly right. Uh, I just want to go have sex at the Olympics. <laughs> so do a lot of people. And, and know, there's a right? lot of Olympians I mean, that are willing to help. Where else can you just do the hibbity-dibbity with a world-class athlete? You can't, and that's, what, that's their argument. When you read the stories of past Olympics, it's incredible. And that's what they say. Yeah. You know, that's what they say. Ooh, yeah. The, the long distance or the sprinters, yeah, they're kind of they're grouchy, but you get them alone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now a bucket list item could be doing it on cardboard. That's exactly right. Testing that out. There you go. Let's do it on Olympic. Maybe there's an Olympic sport that we don't, we haven't had yet. Yeah, and if you're an activist, it gives you a whole new meaning to holding up a black fist. (laughs) Yes, it does. Yeah, the Olympic shocker, folks. There it is. The Olympic shocker. Oh, man. Hey, you don't have to go that far to get sick. You can go to Houston. Uh, There was a chemical leak at a Houston area water park, left dozens suffering from minor skin irritation and respiratory issues. So what? They Hurricane Harbor splash town in spring. Um, There were 39 people that declined to be taken to the hospital, but there was uh, 29 that were taken to local hospitals. So what? They had too much uh, chlorine in there? Yeah, yeah probably so. other chemicals as well. Hy- hypochlorite solution, 35% of sulfuric acid. Is that supposed to be in the pool? No. Wow. I don't know. That does not sound like it should be anywhere close to a pool. Uh, that's how you take care of all the pee in the pool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you have to worry about that. I've, I'm more concerned about that. Yeah. The pee? The, or the poo? Oh, man. I mean, oh who, then don't go yeah. to Great Wolf Lodge. I mean, who it's doesn't pee in the pool? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Everyone pees in the pool. Everybody pees in the pool. Everybody. Everybody, Everybody pees in the pool. Speak for yourselves. You get it. You pee in a pool. I've never peed in my own pool. No. No, in your own pool. But somebody else's. Somebody maybe else's something. pool. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid. I'm telling you, man. You go out and you float. You you pee wherever you're at. I mean, that's why. No. You, you get on an you get on a inner tube in the Guadalupe and float the river for four hours and nobody gets out to pee. Well. That's not that's not somebody's pool. It's not the pool, but well, I mean, when people go on a floaty, you know they're peeing. They're peeing. 
Hundred percent. They're peeing. You're peeing. That's why I don't like those group water park things. No. <laughs> oh, I know. Don't do that stuff. <laughs> I don't like any of that stuff because you got somebody out there with a child that's got a 30 pound diaper that's all just in the, in the jelly is just coming out of the diaper and floating yeah, by like you. Yeah, like the beading and, you know, inside. Yes. You got a kid over there that looks like an Italian fountain with piss coming out and then you're just spitting the water out and the whole thing. Yeah. And, and that's, it's just disgusting. So water gross. parks are no, disgusting. I hate that. Yep. You got people's nasty feet and their toenails are coming off and yeah. you're crusting <laughs> the back of your heel. Looks like a dead armadillo that's been laying in the middle of a hot Texas asphalt highway for blowing well, up for three days. Your lungs at that hydrochloric acid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People haven't bathed. A floating oh. band aid goes by. A band aid goes by. And it's got oh, still yeah. a little blood thing. Tampon. Like it's just a whole it. thing. It's nasty. Oh, People my are nasty. Gosh. It's one big. It's, it's one big cesspool. conglomerate of so rednecks gross. in a pool. Is yeah. what that is. A water park. It's disgusting. You're talking about a super spreader event. You know. And then we take our phones in the bathroom with us. And everybody's know, had your phone. And every the, the aerosolization when you flush the commode, the contents of the bowl yeah, coats everything yeah, within 15 yeah, yeah. feet in a radius of 15 feet. And you're going to hold it up to your face and talk to it. And yet you're going to tell everybody else they need to be wearing a mask. This is some BS. <laughs> Go on, go on. This is a doo-doo phone. Yeah, it is. Put it up against your face. It's a doo-doo phone. I'm not yours. No, definitely not. (laughs) I even pee on it. (laughs) That's how I clean it. Pee is clean, though. Like in Vietnam, when they would overheat, they'd make the whole platoon just pee on the guy. No. Yeah. Yeah. Cool them off. That's not great. No. Pee is clean. Just show her what you used to do. (laughs) (laughs) Lay down. Lisa, lay down. I thought that was for jellyfish. (laughs) Donald Trump. (laughs) That's what I heard. (laughs) That too. Portuguese man of war. Jellyfish, different story. Oh, okay. You, you need vinegar for... Uh, oh, if you get stung by a jellyfish? About, we're talking about Nam, though. We're not talking about... <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Nam. We're not talking about yeah. the water park. But it rained all the time in Nam. It was until it doesn't, and then it oh, doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Some people drank their pee. Remember the, the hiker that got lost? Three yeah. years ago, there was like a movie. Yeah. And he drank his own pee. <sighs> drank his own pee. Uh, I remember uh, uh, Bear Grylls. He was showing people how to... He took the elephant doo-doo and squeeze the water out yeah. of it like that oh my and drink it. <laughs> yeah. He said you could actually get the moisture out of the elephant poo if you're okay, out. Can you get quite a bit out of it, too. I mean, there's a lot of, there's <laughs> a lot of poo in there. That's a lot. Yeah. Just, yeah. And I'll never oh, forget him yeah. doing it. And he was trying to... Uh, it makes me want to vomit right now. I'm glad I have my can. I'm glad. I, come on, Lisa. I'm going to regurgitate it right now. Come on. So hey, gross. you know what we never did? Candace, we never got a chance to do this with you on the show. We never got to break the Capri Sun world record. <gasps> We never did that, speaking of drinking things. Right, because the guy, what was it, 16, 16 seconds? Se- we get th- I could totally suck 100%. one of those down in less than Wait, 16 seconds. Yeah. People do it the world so record is yeah, a- like 16 seconds with a Capri Sun. Yeah. Oh, come on. Now. I know. That's right? some easy. Of those dry. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be done in five seconds. There's yeah. got to be like 60 grams of sugar in those things. Like, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I wouldn't want that. No, well, I would, no. <laughs> yeah. we, we would do the roaring I waters, I 30, 30 calories. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So wait a second. That, that's the Guinness record. There's no way that is yeah, true because that's you have Guinness to use record. the straw. You have yeah, because the straw is like literally a. It's like you, a, it's like a coffee stir. You can't the use size a McDonald's straw to do the challenge. No, you got to use the Capri like Sun that's... straw. But still, but, but, let me come doable. back to the point I was making about peeing in the pool <laughs> and doo doo phones and everything with with the Olympics having sex. Okay, <laughs> just real quick, <laughs> throw the full screen up there. Now we have monkeypox. Yeah, I know. Oh, now we I, have monkeypox. Uh huh. Uh, Dallas County Health and Human Services reports the person who tested positive is now isolated in the hospital to prevent the spread of the virus and is in stable condition. Uh, It was traveled from Nigeria um, to Atlanta and then to uh, Dallas. Came in uh, Dallas Love Field July 9th. Got monkeypox. Says there's very little risk to the general public. They're going to kill all of us. Monkeypox. That full screen back up there. Oh, it's nasty. Ew. Ugh. I mean, why do they block out? Why do they block out the eyes of the monkey? Like, are they trying to? Identify, <laughs> right, are they trying like, to? Like, they don't want anybody to identify the monkey. Yeah, they don't know who he is. <laughs> like, Maybe his eyes like, are popping out. This is Monkey X. This is <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean, how much Olympic sex with monkey? That would be an Olympic sport. Sex with a monkey. First, you got to oh. catch it. Then you got to make it participate. Oh. Right. <laughs> This and you a... have to get consent. Oh my <laughs> you got to get monkey consent. Oh my god. All right. Gosh. Now that would be an Olympic sport. Or this just is, something this you show is for. so twisted tonight. That's, that's how you get monkey box. Wow. That's where AIDS came from, too. Wow. Not West Hollywood. You've been lied to. That's fake, <laughs> fake news. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it when the kids get together. <sighs> this is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, it's great. I know. All I'm trying to say is we're all doomed. We're all doomed. 
Well, they were all. The reason that it's not that big a deal is because all the people on the airlines were wearing masks. And that's 100%. And those fantastic HEPA filters. That's right. Yeah, in yeah. a big metal tube that's at right. 38,000 yeah, yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. So you're fine. So don't worry about it. Just shut up, okay? Ooh, that's a yeah. win win for the airline and the Democrats. Sure Get is. over it, Democrats. Hey, Northwest <laughs> Retention Systems. Uh, they've been our sponsor now for a few weeks, and I love them. I love their products. America's premier holster and everyday gear manufacturer. They're no compromise, top shelf company. Every company probably says that. But Northwest Retention, they prove it. Gear and product innovation is their obsession. They are a custom shop providing holsters and systems for hundreds of firearms. Proud to be All-American and to be manufacturing all of their products in the United States and to be employing Americans. At Northwest Retention, they have a lot of goals. They like to bring the greatest quality value and service to the marketplace. They want to be innovative and continue to build and provide the best quality lifestyle gear to industry. And they want to show gratitude, help their fellow man build relationships, train, and educate. They're a personal company, and they work to bring the very best to their customers and go above and beyond to improve their communities. As far as their products go, you'll never be disappointed. I love it. Wear their belt every day, and guess what? Might even have a piece in here. Don't tell Glenn Beck I'm carrying in the, in the studio. Uh, from their outdoor gear, like their top-selling Scout chest holster to their concealed carry lines, quality and performance are present and always will be. Check out their website to see all they have. Premium quality and satisfaction is guaranteed, and they offer a lifetime warranty. They've got you covered with holsters done right visit nwretention.com that's nwretention.com enter promo code watch chad it'll save you 10 percent monkey pox we'll be right back I love to watch the snakes eat each other, right? They, they're just devouring each other right now. Uh, Facebook fired back at President Joe Biden on Friday after he said that the gargantuan social media platform was killing people through the spread of misinformation about the coronavirus pandemic. Play that clip, Mark. On COVID misinformation. On COVID misinformation. What's your message to platforms like Facebook? They're killing people. I mean, they really... They all, look it. The only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated, and, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. That's a false statement right there. Like In lots sure. of false statements. <laughs> well, 90% are being, you know, if you're conservative or Republican, you're being censored and shut down. So that's definitely not true by well, Sleepy. And so I don't know if you guys saw the CNN clip where, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But, uh, you know, Facebook basically helped Joe Biden get elected, I was just right? going to say, yes. And we already have evidence of Facebook uh, speaking with Fauci. Mm -hmm. uh, Zuckerberg talked, communicated with Fauci at the beginning of COVID-19 saying, what can we do to help? Yeah. So, I mean, they were there for him from the very beginning. Yeah, and now they're devouring each other. It's nice so, to watch, actually. So, company came back and said, we will not be distracted by accusations which aren't supported by facts. The fact is that more than 2 billion people have uh, viewed authoritative information about COVID-19 and vaccines on Facebook, which is more than any other place on the Internet. More than 3.3 .3 million Americans have also used our vaccine finder tool to find out where and how to get a vaccine. Uh, the facts show that Facebook is helping save lives, period. <laughs> right. And Jen Psaki was just, you know, she specifically mentioned 12 people yeah. that were right. That were communicating like 65% of the misinformation That's right. that was out there. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. She said Facebook and any other private sector company makes decisions about what information should be on their platform. Our point is that there is information that is leading to people not taking the vaccine and people are dying as a result. We have a responsibility as a public health matter to raise that issue yeah thanks jen yeah so just because someone went there to look to see where to find a vaccine doesn't mean they went and got a vaccine because i did it too i just hey follow the steps and see where to find one right i didn't go get it well whatever happened to the first amendment and choice <laughs> oh, a novel yeah. idea that would be right I know. That's this administration doesn't know about that that's a fun no, thing imaginary no world do what yeah. they say. Well, what's the problem with that well, let's see what the Surgeon General has to say. Play that, uh, play that clip about big tech and COVID. Uh, President Biden did accuse social media platforms burr, 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 of killing people. Do you think conservative media like Fox News are I doing the same? Are they say. killing people too with rhetoric like you just heard? 
Well, then I think all of us, including the media, including individuals, health professionals, have a responsibility to share the truth about health as science dictates, as science informs us. And you know, unless we do that, unless we are honest about the consequences of our communication with people, unless we are rigorous about ensuring that what we communicate is actually sourced from science and not from opinion on critical issues like the vaccine, and you should then we are going to that. ultimately <laughs> put people at risk. And that is my, my great worry, Dana. There are people all across our country, and I hear from folks all the time, who are Do struggling you? to make decisions <laughs> uh, about their health. After this very difficult year we've been through, people deserve to have access to accurate information. They deserve to hear that from their leaders. They deserve to hear that from the media. They deserve to see that on platforms online. And that they need that information to be able to make decisions mm -hmm. to protect themselves and their families. That's the least we can do. Dumber, dumber. The, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Vivek, Vivek Mark Murphy. Dumber, dumber, dumber. Um... <laughs> I don't care. I mean, you notice how she tried to pull him into the, uh, yes. to the, to the yes. news versus news, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, these big, big news, big media wars. You know, you know, do you feel like conservative outlets like Fox News are killing people? I know. Uh, I mean, give me a break. Nobody's ever said anything except if you want to go get a vaccine, go get a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Nobody's telling you not to get a vaccine. Correct. Nobody's even, telling no. you not to get a vaccine. Are, so? So? Yep. I mean, you're still free to go get it. Make your choice. Can we create a nickname for Murphy? Can we call him a Beeb from The Simpsons? <laughs> Is that possible? Can we call him a Beeb? A Boo. Is it a Boo or a Beeb? Thank you. A Boo. A Boo. Thank you for coming to Shabu Shabu. Uh, hate mail goes to Steve at watchchad.com. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, know. I have plus, I want to see proof that I hear from people I all hear the from time. people all the time. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Do you? I, Do you, Vivek? I, I'm trying to remember... The last time I was so angry, I went out and wrote an email or a letter to the Surgeon General of the United <laughs> exactly. States. Exactly. <laughs> like, like you know, just show us one little scribble on just the napkin. One. Yeah, exactly. just, just one, one little yeah. thing. You hear from all the time, do you? Yeah, I hear from okay. people all the time. But he totally skirted the issue. Rather than getting drawn in, he's got to do the whole thing. I've been very consistent about what I said about technology companies. <laughs> I have broken with a number of them over the last many months. They are not buy one, get one. Yeah, that's funny. Um, <laughs> it is not enough. They're seeing a proliferation of misinformation online. Yeah, Lee, I love Dinesh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, D'Souza actually endorsed my book that's coming out September 7th, by the way. Uh, you know, he, that, that can, they can retract that at any time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's already on the cover. No, it's oh, on the cover, dude. Oh, Dinesh, oh, Dinesh oh. D'Souza. I'm pretty sure Debbie wrote it Yes. because it, say, it says um, a manly perspective. And I just don't think Dinesh is going to say, there's a very manly perspective from Chad Breyer. <laughs> I think you're right. Actually, I don't I think, think Dinesh right. wrote that at all. Yeah, no way. And, and Debbie. Call me. Um, <laughs> good work, Debbie. Good work, Debbie. They're killing people. <laughs> uh, well, let's, let's find out from the former <laughs> Surgeon General about uh, what he said. Uh, Jerome Adams. Uh, play that clip there, Mark. And that's, that is right there. Last year, Tony Fauci and I famously prematurely and wrongly advised against masks. I felt it was the best call at the time, but now regret it. I'm worried the CDC also made a similarly premature, misinterpreted, yet still harmful call on masking in the face of the Delta variant. Oh. Put, the, put, it, put the tweet back up there. <laughs> Look at this guy. It, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very wordy tweet. Yes, it is. So Famously much. prematurely and wrongly. And now we similarly word premature. Sounds like Dude, my sex life. Give me a couple of hashtags. <laughs> premature. And let's move on. Yeah, misinterpreted. It's misinterpreted and premature. <laughs> Yet still harmful. <laughs> my sex life is famously and prematurely and wrongly advised. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's that's a lot going on. Um, he urged the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to instead advise people to get vaccinated and wear masks in areas of, with higher cases of COVID nineteen as the numbers start to decline. Can you imagine, I mean, let's just go back to this. Can you imagine if this was the kind of logic and, and rhetoric that was being spoken about every flu season? I mean, like, what every flu mm -hmm. season. I mean, just pick a virus mm -hmm. out and be like, okay, this one preys on fat people. It preys on sick people. It preys on people of color. Why are you going to say something preys on fat people? Dude, man, just I'm praying for you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thoughts and prayers, Jeffy. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Oh, thank you. Um, 
But, you know, I, I, mean, I don't understand. If you're vaccinated and the vaccine yeah. works, why do you need to There's wear the mask? I'd be pissed if I got vaccinated. And now, especially in, you know, Orange County in California, they're saying when you're in, even when you're outside and you're vaccinated, wear a mask. F you. F you. F you. F you. No. No, I actually think they should in California. Just wear the mask oh, all the time. Yep. Just keep it on. It's amazing, though. I, you, know, you know, I do my sheep shit. Uh, Instagram. Yeah. Yep. I put my stories out mm-hmm. there all the time with, with the I find it on the ground. The yeah. masks are everywhere and it's sheep shit. And everybody started sending me their sheep shit. But it, like people are trashy. Y'all are nasty. Yeah. You just take it off and just slap it That's on the ground. That's how it was. Oh, yeah. Remember uh, for a while at the beginning of the pandemic, people were wearing the dumb gloves everywhere and I'd see gloves and carts all over the place in the parking lot. Yeah. It's and gross. the Asians get on the plane with a full Tyvek suit. It's always it's- Asians. I saw a guy in the bank. A <laughs> oh. guy walks in in the bank and he's wearing like a Marine Corps. You remember the 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 mask that comes on? It's got the two oh, little, yes. little oh, yeah. filter things. I don't even know what they're called. Canisters. But I mean, yeah. he's walking in the bank. Nobody else is masked. And he walks on with this thing. And I'm like, dude, he's like full hazmat suit. Yeah. Darth Vader. <laughs> hey, did you know that the average American has 97 points that they could add to their credit score, but no idea how to get them? The data scientist at Scoremaster cracked the code on how... Adding 97 points to your credit score is like found money. It means fast loan approvals, huge discounts, and low interest rates on everything from buying or refinancing a home to leasing a new car to applying for a credit card. How fast is ScoreMaster? One might ask. Lisa Page. One member raised his credit score 33 points in just five days. Another 43 points in a couple of weeks. ScoreMaster is so easy, it takes about a minute to get started. And if you hurry, you can uh, you get to try ScoreMaster for free. That's right. ScoreMaster for free. And see how many plus points you can add to your credit score. Go to scoremaster.com slash C-H-A-D. I spell it Chad. That's scoremaster.com slash Chad. Again, scoremaster.com slash Chad. You know what? We'll be right back. So, Peppa Pig. Your kids watch Peppa Pig? <gasps> we love Peppa Pig. I'm trying to find the theme right now. Uh, there's a theme? Yeah. This is a theme. Yeah, okay, yeah. Of course, they they is this, did. Is this, is this the music you play when you... When I'm driving here to when work? you're yes. jumping on a cardboard box <laughs> in the Olympic Village? <laughs> Thank you, um, <laughs> So American kids binge watching so much of the British cartoon Peppa Pig that they are developing English accents and even using words like telly and ready, steady, go. I would love that if my kids developed an English accent. I, I hate when people do that. I, I do love too. it. I, like, Hello. People want to talk to me and they want to. And I'm like, stop it. My whole family gets mad. I go to a Chinese restaurant and I start speaking Chinese right? accent. <gasps> That's like, I can't oh. help it. That's like we'll be at a, we'll go to eat sushi and Steve Helms will be there. And he bows to him. No. Like, I'm like, <laughs> you don't do that anywhere else, dude. But they bring you sake and you bow to them. He does every time. He does? I'm like, what are you doing, bro? He's embracing the culture. You have I'm to. Like, I'm like, I mean, it wasn't he's Dora trying to be Explorer respectful. was huge for years. And, yeah. we, and we didn't have any stories about kids. She no. was trying to have kids speak Spanish. Yeah. And it was a struggle. And they so were trying now to Peppa's do it. was working. Bang, got yeah. a key. Right. There's a place you want to go. And so they're oh, teaching no. us the map cultures. And, <laughs> what but are you then singing? they don't want us to. So right. it's like mixed signal. I'm the map. I'm the map. That's the map. the explorer. There's oh, the place no. You we never go. watched. My kids never watched that. Yeah. Dora finally got lost in the jungle somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> then that movie came out. And then, she had a, then she had a, a boyfriend named Finn or something. <laughs> I don't know what his Finn. name was. <laughs> It was dead. It was something. Yeah, it was I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, screen screen time. They're like they're worried about these these people. Um, Peppa Pig, second most in demand cartoon after SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, I which mean, is what 100%. you watch when Easy. you take mushrooms, right? It hasn't even had any new ones, really, right? Peppa's been uh, there four or five years. Peppa's been around for years and years. I understand, and... but I mean, they haven't had any new episodes in a long yeah. time. No, no, no. But they about... made so many that you're bound to have not seen all of them. What about Blippi and Paw Patrol? They're not getting any. We love Paw Patrol, 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 Paw Patrol. Patrol. Be there on, on the, the double. double whenever and there's a problem. Call him up to the... Yeah. This is why people hate you on this show. <laughs> right here. This is why the trolls come out. Shout out to Michael. Shout out to Gina. <laughs> Those are the two. Michael and Gina. I see you. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. This one lady said um, um, her five-year-old daughter 
said, Mummy, are you going to the optician? Uh, I love it. Six year old even referred to a bathroom as a water closet. Double <laughs> okay. uh, I was like, where did she learn that from? Well, uh, was she on the Titanic in a past life? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Talk about water closet. <laughs> yeah. You don't want it to shut up in there. <laughs> oh, Steve is like nonstop today with the jokes. I know. That's that's why the Texas water park. Mm hmm. They, somebody emptied the chemical toilet, the chemical <laughs> yep. water closet yep. into the pool. There it is. There it is. Somebody let Austin leak into the pool. Oh, oh it's horrendous. It's horrendous. Jeffy, you know I'm running for governor, right? I do, as a matter of fact. I, mean, I was, you know, I, how's that coming? How's the, how's, the, how's the campaign going? It's going good. I was we thinking are, about actually starting my own campaign, as you a matter should. of fact. But. If I could have my way, all 30 million Texans would... Uh, run for governor and vote for themselves. And then we would guarantee a primary runoff with Greg Abbott. There'd be some douchebag that uh, voted for him there. You know, to give him, to give him two votes. Uh -huh. I wonder how many people I can get yeah. to vote for me. You should try. Probably at least you should two. try. Please throw your hat I don't want to technically run because then they do background checks and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. It's reasonably yeah, no, invasive. No, 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 no. That's why I just go ahead and give them all the, all the opposition research. I just give them the sound bites yeah. right here from the show. But I think write in, write in candidate, right? Write in candidate, I'm good. Yeah, you can do that. For myself, right? You just gotta let people know. Yeah, Fisher, 2022. Yeah, oh, I like about, it. No. There you go. You know, you know Party if you go to Steve, 2022. Yeah, but do you have a campaign slogan? Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, so I, I have a campaign slogan. Right. Steve doesn't need a campaign slogan. Party foul, Steve. That's how about no? Start raising some money right now. <laughs> that ain't quite how it works. Well, I mean, you I'm, can do prison I'm a time. I'm of that. Oh, well, no, I'm just saying I could go. Do I have to pay to sign up and run for governor? No, it's free. It's free. Yep. Where do I go? You have uh, see. That's ah. why you need to know Dr. Cordy Williams right, right there. Well, I'm in. He's seventeen seventy six forever. Well, I don't know about the campaign manager thing, but I know about all the FEC crap. Do they have that for governor? You have FEC? to. In Texas is a little bit different. Like you don't have to have exploratory committee. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You just fill out a you fill out a form. Right. You name a treasurer, and you're in. <gasps> Can I be my own treasurer? Uh, yeah, no, exactly. Uh, <laughs> be your own treasurer. No, nope, somebody's got to be able to take the fall. All right. Somebody's got to be able to take the phone. Roger Stone wanted to be my treasurer. I, my grandmother yeah. is my tre treasure. Wow. Well, I was told the call first Roger person back. to go to jail is yeah. the treasure. So, she's yeah. a Democrat. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nightmare. It really is. It's a nightmare. You can go to Beto22.com, right. and it takes you right to my site. I love it. Nice. Yeah. Nice, I like Abbott that. Abbottout.com comes right to my site. <laughs> That's it's amazing. Fantastic. That's so awesome. Uh, but yeah, Prather2022.com. Uh, we, we, they were, they, they were doing, a, um, somebody on Twitter, they had, um, what was it? Natty lights or something like, or Bush lights or PBRs or I think it was PBRs. And the, they were people, they were somewhere at a bar buying PBRs for, um, a dollar 50. And they ranked our campaigns based on the quarterly, quarterly finance report on how many PBRs they yeah. could buy. And I think with Greg Abbott's, you could buy like 50 million PBRs. And I think you, with mine, you could buy like 32,000. Wow. <laughs> and be damn proud of that number. Let's, let's see. I, I'm I got that right thing. now, the Jeff Fisher 2022 campaign, the How About No campaign, you can, <laughs> just, you, you can get yourself one PBR. Here you go. <laughs> so uh, Let's see. Uh, Chip Roy uh, had put a thing out, said, there's genuine hope for America. This PBR was $1.50, and he posted a picture of it on Twitter. So uh, Brad Johnson, he said, uh, because why the heck not? I'm going to measure the Texas governor race fundraising halls uh, in these PBRs. <laughs> Abbott, 13,914,960 Jeez. PBRs. Uh, Don Huffines, 6,082,72 uh, oh, yeah. PBRs. Prather, 32,598 PBRs. West, N.A. Not available. <laughs> you know what? It's not about the money. It's not about, about the, money. the love of the great state of Texas. It's about and a man your... that believes in the red, white, and blue. Yeah. The heart wow. on the line. The Lone Star. Yeah, the grassroots. The state of the Lone Star. Yeah. That's well, what's all I'm about. I'm pretty sure I owe somebody a few PBRs <laughs> yeah. in the negative right off the bat. Yeah. I'm, I'm blowing their minds. <laughs> like, I mean, I come out and I say all these things. These people want to come at me like, like a typical politician. And I'm like, oh, no. Our campaign slogan, we're here to F shit up. That, that's Love our that. campaign slogan. Because... Because we know what we're doing. I mean, this is, we're playing the disruptor. We're taking. We're for the real people out there, the blue collar, hardworking people who pull themselves up by their bootstraps. And when they fall down, they pick themselves up. They dust themselves off. They keep on moving forward. Keep their head above water. 
work six days a week, take the family to church on Sunday mornings, get up and do it all over again. Those folks, the folks that are the backbone of Texas, that's who we're doing it for. And so when they say, what do you think should be done about border security? Well, every ranch on the southern border should be given a state-issued backhoe. Remind everybody that cadaver dogs can smell down to 12 feet. You go ahead and pre-dig your holes to 15, okay? And if somebody comes walking across your property with a shaved head and tattoos on his face, you drop them right there. You put them in the hole, you bury them up. And then you just you just put their head on a stake and you put it right out there and say, no trespassing. <laughs> it's exactly what the cartels wow. do in town. <laughs> this is a border patrol. I mean, I'm I'm telling you, you want border security? Let's do that. Yeah. Yes. Let's fund let's fund these counties. They can hire their own security contractors. I mean, they worked in in Baghdad. They worked in Iraq. They worked in in Afghanistan. Let's hire these security contractors. Let's put them up every quarter mile. They have a little a little guard station, and and they'll have it locked down in two weeks. Private enterprise. Let's That's go. Where it's at. Forget the government. Get the government out of your life. Yeah, That's what that's we want right. to do. You know, and then, and then what we do is we just allocate funds so people can have rounds and ammo, you know, because it's so expensive right now. Mm. Really? This is the deal. This is the campaign I'm running. Okay. This is the campaign I'm All running. All right, fine. Yeah, they're having a good time with this. <laughs> I put out a border plan. I mean, a legitimate border plan over the weekend. It's legit. It's legit. People want to come back and they're like, well, it's not that. So you're just saying do all the things that Greg Abbott's doing already. Greg Abbott's not doing anything. Greg, have you seen any action from Greg Abbott? Nothing. No. I haven't seen the 15-foot holes, I'll tell you. That. I, I uh-uh. just think that'll line the border with PBRs from Abbott. Yeah. And the, nobody to, will go past real that. Real quick. going to stay there and drink. Here's a quote from Greg Abbott. In Texas, we will not sit idly by while the president ignores the law and fails to secure the border. You know when he said that? 2000. 15. And what has he done since? Nothing. Sat we'll there. be right back. Whoa. Sit on that. Hey. I got to respond to a text message. Right here on air. There it is. I know. I got to do it. I got to do a hit with my buddy Dan Ball oh. on One America. Oh. One America. Fun. I, and it's the time zones that always screw me up. Right? Where are they out of? They're somewhere in that way. I Ma- think they're in California, actually. Oh, yeah. Right? San Diego. Yeah, they say California. And so, uh, yeah, and so she texted me. I was thinking 3 o'clock Central Time. She's thinking, anyway, she's thinking we're in Eastern Time. Oh, yeah, it's no. It's producer Peyton. She's lovely. Shout out to Peyton. Peyton Drew. Follow her on Instagram. When I first started getting invites to come on Dan, she was like, there's no way this chick is a producer with One American News. Because, I mean, it's all bikinis, and <laughs> I'm like, I had to do a little research. I thought I was getting trolled myself. I was like, no, <laughs> I joke. love it when she asked me to come on the show. Oh, like, fun. Go check out her Instagram. Anyway, watchchad.com is so where all the fun stuff is. You can also sign up for Blaze TV, blazetv.com slash chad. Use promo code chad. I think they give you a buck or two off. Uh, and for an annual subscription, I don't know, Bet keeps all the money. We don't get to find out a damn thing around here. <laughs> You know, it's fun building a church in Utah or Southern Idaho. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. But <laughs> golly, Jeffy. Uh, don't look at me when no, you say that, bro. I'm not looking at you. I got none of that church money, bro. No, I got it's like zero the Texas Dems washing their uh, onesie. <laughs> That's right. In the sink. <laughs> Pat Gray is washing a onesie in the sink. The uh, I'm telling you what. It's fun. Cordy, thanks for being on the show again. Uh, Party foul, Steve. Lisa Page made me do it. KKK, Chris Cruz. Oh, yeah. Christian. AK, I don't know. We'll come up with something. I really need to avoid that. You really do. I really need because to avoid that. Because you are by, you're definitely going to get somebody saying, that is not gubernatorial, Chad. Well, nothing's gubernatorial. I'm not wearing socks or underwear. So, okay? I mean, really, TMI. That's it not is gubernatorial. TMI on this Tuesday. about backhoeing 15-foot holes along the border. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking I know. about? Yeah, there you go. Hey, uh, going to be in Abilene, <laughs> Texas, Friday and Saturday night. See if you can get tickets. Call them up. Maybe you get you in the door. Watchchad.com is where all the fun stuff is. Just know we'll be back tomorrow night for a wild and wacky Wednesday. We love you. God bless you. Talk to you then.